Hello guys and welcome back to British Gaming today. A short introduction from me before we get into today's video which is the uh, Mitsuhiro Arita uh, interview uh, today. We didn't actually expect to be having a one-on-one -on -one interview with Arita-san. Um, I myself wasn't actually able to attend the uh, what was supposed to be a group interview on the Saturday at Hyper Japan. I was part of the press team, I went on the Friday, I wasn't able to make the Saturday so I knew two people who were going, uh, Adam Turner and Crystal Turner. And um, I said to them, look, you can go on my behalf. It's a group interview. You don't have to do anything. You can just go sit in. Um, if you could record the interview for my channel, that'd be great. Um, and they got there and it, it was just them there. So uh, <laughs> they had to carry the whole thing, which was kind of unexpected. And um, yeah, but they've done a great job and I couldn't thank them enough for what they've done. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the interview. You learned a lot about Mitsuhiro Arita, the man behind the art, really. Not too much about Pokemon here. More of a, a, a personal touch, I think. But a great interview nonetheless. So I hope you guys learn a thing or two and enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. So we, we attended your talk. Um, on your life uh -huh. and your, your kind of growing up within Japan mm -hmm. and how you wanted to study to become an electrical mm -hmm. engineer um, before pursuing a career in artistry. Um, was art something you always wanted to do after the, the electrical engineering? Was it something you felt that you could study art instead of electrical engineering? エンジニアリングとアートどっちがしたかったんですか <笑> あの、絵って別に絶対的な評価ってないじゃないですか。うん。技術があればいい絵が描けるかって言ったらそうじゃないですし、それで絵を選びました。あの、自分自分で絵を勉強して自分なりの絵を描けばそれで自分を試せるな
Was there anyone you looked up to? Like Hokusai as an example? Hokusai? Um, so, uh, going back to your work and your art, um, a lot of it in the past has been centered around fantasy, um, mythological, mm -hmm. and historical mm -hmm. pieces. Um, are these things that have been uh, things that you like, or is this to do with your work? Yeah. And so, people commission you to do that as opposed to you like doing that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just commission. Okay, so yeah. what, what, what things do you like drawing? Uh, just uh, on a personal type of it. あの、そう、あの、さっきから好きかどうかっていうことをよく聞かれてますけど、えっと、自分の目的は自分のためっていうことだったので、もうただ単にその、その目的のために必要なことをやっていくっていう感じでずっと仕事をしてきたんですけど
So uh, you mentioned you travel a lot. Uh, do you have a favourite location you like to travel to? Ah. Oh. So, so, so <laughs> for example, you were in France last week mm -hmm. in Paris. Yeah. Um, how does that compare to the UK? Ah. Uh, compared to UK. Because I just arrived here on 10. Of course, yeah. yeah so I didn't wait uh, so much. Uh, I didn't go out so much uh, oh, yes, in, yes. in London. Uh, but I love pub. <laughs> English pub, pub is very good. Very beautiful city. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, globally now, um, what's your favorite country? Favorite country? So, favorite place to visit? Ah. Uh, uh, oh, it could be just Japan. Do you prefer your <laughs> home, your home country? Yeah. Uh, that is also not my favorite. Okay. Uh, because I'm I usually only traveling traveling for business. Of course. And also. Um, my motivation is um, know something I never know. Yeah, so every country is uh, far from me. <laughs> Continual learning. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's really nice. Um, as you've travelled around the likes of Europe, the USA, uh, of course, Asia and Japan. Mm -hmm. Are there any cultures that uh, you'd like to invest yourselves within? So, for example, any traditions that you'd like to see? So, um, I think it was yesterday you, you had, say, Weetabix and milk. So, mm -hmm. so new foods or new, new ways of looking at foods or drinks or, mm -hmm. or activities. Is there anything like that that you want to pick up? So, um, as an example of this, um, Crystal and I went to Japan last March and we, we explored the likes of um, Kyoto, Tokyo, uh, Hakone mm -hmm. and we, we really enjoyed the culture and mm -hmm. uh, how friendly everyone is in Japan. So we, we brought that back to the UK mm -hmm. just to, to be nicer people, I guess. Is there anything that, that you've experienced that has resonated well with you? Resonated? Uh, あの、他のアメリカとか、あの、イギリスとか、あの、アメリカとか、あの、そこで見た文化で自分でもああ、やりたいなとか、自分でもうん、やりたい気持ちになったことありますか えっと、どの国っていうことじゃなくて、やっぱり外国に行くようになって、例えば僕の英語をそんなにうまくないんですけど、えっと、あの、えっと、<笑> あの、あ、sorry。そう、not <laughs> 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 
without interrupting, they always try their best to listen to him. So he thought that was a really good trait to have. And so he himself um, realised that he should um, have taught himself not to particularly judge strangers or people he doesn't, he doesn't know, okay. um, because there's often people like that. Um, if there's someone that can't speak um, Japanese well, for example, so he recently did like a te um, teaching teaching for um, um, international student who couldn't speak Japanese that well, um, but um, and they all were also lacking confidence. But he wanted to help them and teach them like, oh, this is the way you do it without making without being just upsetting them or trying to make them feel uncomfortable um, in order to help them. So that's kind of like a trait that he um, learned from traveling overseas and how other people. Your current work now, what, what is it that you're enjoying working on?あの、個人的には、ま、さっきから言ってますけど、こう長い時間かけてやり続けていった、いって、最終的にそれが達成できた時に、やっぱり難しいことほど、その達成した時に大きな喜びがあるじゃないですか。達成、終わった。えっと、自分の目標レベルに達するっていうことですね。あ。だ
well, yeah, that's just how he works. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, taking you away from art and illustration, uh, do you have any other hobbies or interests? This hobby. Yeah, I'm a kid. I'm a kid. Yeah, 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 I'm Okay. It's a very, very sentimental. Okay. Um, I, I have one, one final question, if that's okay. Um, do you have any advice uh, that you could give us aspiring artists, so um, in Japan or overseas? Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything that you've learnt that you wish you would have known when you started, or that you can pass on to future artists? えー、と最近スケッチのセミナーを日本でやってるんですけど自分自身その仕事として絵を描くことを始めたのでさっきから言ったように全く好き嫌いとか自分の好き嫌いとか無視してずっと仕事としてやってきてで結構辛い気持ちの時もあったんですよねでずっとそういうふうにしてたんですけどスケッチを始めてでなんか自分の頭に何でも思い浮かんだもの落書きも以前はしなかったんですよで落書きとかをしたりとかし始めてで最近はもう下書きもしなくなってで下書きもないっていうことはどこにも特に最初に決めたゴールがはっきりしたゴールっていうものはないっていう状態ですね頭の中にだけあって現実世界にはゴールがはっきりしたゴールが設定されてないものをこうバーって書いてるとすっごい楽しいんですよそれは仕事は明確なゴールがあってこう,いうこういうことを達成してくださいっていうのがクライアントがからあってで僕はそれを達成するためにこのゴールにたどり着こうって決めてでそこに向かってずっとやっていくとこの,このプロセスが辛いんですよね<笑>ゴールが決まってるからでもスケッチをするとゴールがないから楽しくてでそ,れそれでその僕は絵を描くことの楽しさをようやく発見したんですよで最近はその特に日本とかはあの画力があるなしがこう絶対的な指標だとかあとあのソーシャルメディアで人に褒められるかどうかが一番大事だみたいな感じのことを割とみんなそういう考えに偏ってる気がするんですけどなんか絵を勉強のように捉えて取り組もうとしてる人が割といる気がするんですよね。でもそうじゃなくてやっぱり一番は自分がこういうの描きたいっていうことをちゃんと達成することだと思うんですよでこういう絵を描きたいっていう気持ちをちゃんと自分から引き出したりとかその自分がこう,いうこういうものが好きなんだとかこういうの描きたいんだっていうことを発見するためにはやっぱり日常的にスケッチをするっていうのがすごく大,大事なんじゃないかなソーシャルメディアのことは何ですかソーシャルメディアの,あのこと今言ったこと何ですかあ僕がですかはいえっ、ー、と<笑>いいねとか RT の数でそれが絵の評価だっていうふうにみんな思ってそれがつかないとひどく落ち込んだりとかあと思っちゃうで,もでも自分が楽しければ別にいいと思うんですよねでまず自分が楽しくてこういうの描きたいっていう気持ちをちゃんと持って絵に取り組むっていうことができないと他の人にそのこういうその描いたものの魅力って伝わらないと思うんですよ、はいはい、結,構結構難しい難しいというか伝わりにくい話だと思いますけど<笑>はい、um, so... <笑><笑>そうですね、今言ったようなことを主に話をしていますね。はい。そうですね、今言ったようなことを主に話をしていますね。はい。そうですね、今言ったようなことを主に話をしていますね。はい。そうですね、今言ったようなことを主に話をしていますね。はい。
just um, whether was asked by the client just to reach that end goal. And the whole process to reach that end goal, because there was something that he had to reach, it was quite a difficult process. Um, that part was where he struggled the most. Whereas when he started to actually sketch anything that just comes to mind, just not even without an end goal, because or no draft or no end goal, he realised that's when he, that's when he realised the enjoyment of actually drawing because he's not really trying to reach anything, he's just drawing anything that comes to mind. Um, so yeah, that's what he's trying to teach in the sketch seminar. Um, so yeah, with the, the and also um, often people feel like on social media, for example, if they post like a drawing that they've done, um, the number of likes or yeah, the number of likes that they get would determine like how good it is. Well, it's really yeah. not like that. Um, so that doesn't determine the worth of your whether you're good or not, and um, it just doesn't matter as long as you enjoy yourself, which is why um, it's really important to discover, to discover just sketching um, whatever you want and whatever you kind of yeah just comes to mind yourself to in order to just find that real enjoyment of drawing. Sounds great. That's, that's all, all we had. I don't know if you had anything else. I don't think so, no. Thank you very much. It's been an honour to, uh, thank you. to, to talk to you today.